I said tonight. Is that is that true? Yeah, I mean, I <clears throat> I need to be more aggressive and be in attack mode and uh, just try to lift the level of urgency and you know from the start. So um, I thought our second group came in in that second quarter and really um, really picked it up. You know, on the defensive end, they were scrappy, they were physical, we rebounded well, the ball was moving around, and I thought that was when we really kicked it in gear and um, you know we pretty much sustained that. Uh, you know, for the rest of the way. Next question is coming from Jason Quick with The Athletic. Dame, you know how, like in the past, we've talked about it's easy to forget that you guys are people first before players. And in that respect, uh, whatever Yusuf has been going through back back home, um, can you notice that from him and, and have you tried to, uh, assist him in, in dealing with that in this early season? Uh, I mean, I've been aware that, you know, he has some things going on with his family, uh, you know, and I think that that comes first, you know, that comes before basketball. And I think that we all understand that and we've all been through things that, you know, allows us to understand that, you know, it can, it can weigh on you and it takes a toll and it, you know, could take away from your focus or just how much you care about, you know, what happens on the court. I've been in that place before. Um, and it's similar to the bubble. You know, he had a lot going on then and, he, you know, he stuck with the team and he was with us. And I think now, um, you know, having a rough start to the season uh, and dealing with things personally, um, you know, he's fighting through it. And I think um, for us, we, we just got to support him. You know, we got to be there for him um, and show him that we care and that, you know, we on his side, I think it's easy um, to, you know, try to say, oh, well, we need him to do this and we need him to do that and kind of like um, look past, you know, what he may be going through personally. Um, but that's not what we're here for. You know, that's not why they call us teammates and why they call us friends. You know, if, if one guy is struggling, we got to be with him. You know, and those, it's easy to be with somebody when everything's going well and they, they're happy and they're playing perfect perfect or close to how we want them to play or whatever the case may be. It's easy to be there for them. It's easy to be a friend. It's easy to be supportive. Um, but when guys are going through things, you know, you, that's when you got opportunity to show, you know, what type of true teammate or true friend or whatever you want to call it is. And, you know, we've been there for them. You know, we, we've supported them and we're going to continue to, to have trust and faith in them. And, you know, I thought tonight he was great. And, um, you know, that's, that's what it means to be a part of a team. Thanks, man. Next question is coming from AJ McCord with Coin6. Dame, along those same lines, um, the last 24 hours have been a lot for the country. And I know you guys as teammates are never ones to shy away from talking about things beyond basketball. What has it been like to process what's going on in this country in the last 24 hours with balancing, getting ready, for a basketball game that there was, it felt like at least a lot of outside pressure to perform and perform dominantly in. I mean, to me, it's just, it's unbelievable. Um, you know, but I think it brings the obvious to the table. I mean, um, guys around the league have, have spoke on it and, you know, talked about how we, we pretty much live in two different Americas. Um, you know, being a, a black man, I know what that situation would have been had, um, people of color decided to take that type of route. I know it, it wouldn't have looked the way it looked. It wouldn't have been, you know, it wouldn't have been that way. And, you know, I think that's the obvious. So everything that, that guys have been saying, everybody, everything that people have been speaking out saying, I share those same sentiments. You know, it's just disappointing. Man. It's disappointing that that's, that's acceptable um, and it's not viewed the same um, as, you know, people protesting and people fighting just for something like equality. You know, and not being called protesters, being called terrorists and criminals and things like that. And, you know, it's, it's not viewed the same. Um, I think that's an issue, but it's, it's an even bigger issue that it was just like, it was just accepted. You know, it was acceptable. It was like, you know, they, you got people at Nancy Pelosi's desk. Like, come on. Makes no sense. Thank you. Thanks. Next question is coming from Jamie Hudson with NBC Sports Northwest. 
Same with Nas finally making his return. What was it like to see him back out there? Um, it was good to see him out there. Uh, he's been through a lot. Um, and then coming back this season, missing a, a lot of time, having to work his way back um, with his conditioning, you know, all those things. It's, um, it's been a, a tough few months for him. And, um, you know, it was good to see him back on the court. You know, I, when Coach called his name, he, he started smiling right away and everybody on the bench was kind of laughing about it. But, I mean, he's a, a young kid and um, – He's played basketball his whole life to, to be in the NBA and to start his career. You know, he's he's had some bumps in the road. And, you know, I was just happy to see how happy he was to be back on the floor. Our last question is coming from Dwight James with NBC Sports Northwest. Jim, getting back to, you know, I've always been kind of intrigued by what goes into your decision on certain nights where you know – you know, this is a night I'm going to have to just come in and take over a game right from the start. And you've done that periodically in your career when things have been in the situation that they've probably been in in the last few games. And I'm just wondering what goes into those decisions. What do you think about what what gives you the intuition to know when to do that? Uh, I think you just got to recognize those moments. Um, you know, there's times where, you know, Melo might be having the night or CJ might be having the night or CJ might be flowing well. So, you know, we'll play a, bound, a different type of game, um, you know, where the, the ball might move a little bit more or I might be a little more patient or I might be a little bit more of a playmaker or, you know, it, it depends. Um, but just after after the game against Chicago, that was a game that I really felt we should have won. You know, we had a big lead. Um, I felt like we were um, the better team. And uh, we, it's a, a tough loss for us to take at home, especially when we built up a lead the way we did. And, um, you know, they, they come back and then we lose the game down the stretch. You know, I was, I was really frustrated and irritated with that one. And um, I felt like a game like tonight was, was similar. You know, a game that we feel we should win, their best player um, not playing, um, a, a pretty young team. Um, and, and a team that we're more experienced in, you know, I felt like it was a game we should win, but I was like, it can't, if, if we come out here and have a similar performance and a similar ending to what we had on Tuesday, you know, it's not going to be good. So, um, you know, I think it's, it's my job to recognize those moments and to, to know when to be more assertive and know when to uh, try to be more in control of the situation.